You may not realize it, but at the University of Indianapolis, they have a jazz station which plays some of the oldest records and the hottest downloads. But their new adventure is CDs. I think it was around 10,002 or 300 uh, compact discs. It's a variety of things. A lot of them are commercially available compact discs that are hard to find these days because Chuck had been collecting for a long time. Other portions include some of his old radio shows and we're still going through finding out how many of those uh, original uh, material from his old commercial TV show, radio show that is, or uh, for what he did for us while he was here. <clears throat> a number of them are demos, like one or two two song demos that were sent to him. Um, and a number of them have been signed by the artists that sent them through. Chuck is Chuck Workman. Former show host at WICR, who eventually passed away in 2012. From what I understand, he had an extremely popular show on the weekends. Uh, essentially, he did a lot around smooth jazz for what we had, and so that was a little bit along the same lines of what he did before the commercial station decided that they didn't want to stay with that kind of format. So he came over here and spent a number of years. Saudades do Brazil from Abelita Mateus here on 88.7 The Diamond. Duke Ellington, Dave Potter, and ba Bob Monday all coming up for you later on this 5 o'clock hour. Mallory Moreno listening along with you. Cynthia Lane up on the way next right after. Harold Little here on 88.7 The Diamond. I am the digital media manager for WICR, so that means I um, am in charge of all of the social media um, and I'm in charge of websites as well and creating content for that. The CDs came from Chuck Workman, who used to be a personality here at WICR. And um, they were giving as, given as a donation from his niece after he passed away. He wanted those CDs to go to us here at the station. He had a really big fan base. Um, a lot of listeners really loved his work and um, he really loved being here at WICR. Well, for the station, it gives us a much deeper playlist. Uh, we're scrambling through right now to see if we can find extra Christmas tunes for the holidays, of course, because uh, he had lots of them and lots from a number of years. Uh, I think there's about three boxes hiding in there somewhere that I saw when we were first working, bringing them out. Um, so it gives you a much deeper playlist. It also fills in a bunch of holes for us. Um, from a time in which we had converted from LP to CDs, uh, Chuck had a bunch of CDs that predate material that we had. So it has things, you'll find some Bela Fleck there that I personally own, but the station has never seen except for the copies that I've had. So. But even the blessing of thousands of CDs added to the collection, this has been a tall task for the staff at WICR. Um, it's been a process. I know our programming director, manager, Chloe, has, it's been a huge process and challenge for her having to go through every single CD, file them, and then um, put them in the correct categories. So we've kind of helped her out with that a few times, but that's kind of been her main big project. So it's... Um a massive collection just in those, not counting the fact that we also got a bunch of shelves to put them in. So now if we just had the space, we'd be in great shape. Chris Shoulders, TV5 News.